the Water Lords and I. Cogstein, an alchemist, claims you know about the tower's mage and its sentry. A powerful sorcerer once lived in the swamp, an apprentice his only companion. All changed when a woman entered his life. A fairy tale beginning. But the end differs. For a wicked woman she was. He fulfilled all her wishes and she took advantage of his might. Who was the woman? Unimportant. I'm listening. Blind love spelled the mage's demise. He called upon forces he could not control and died. What about the guard? The mage's lover could tell fortunes and the mage created a deck of extraordinary tarot cards. He illustrated a future event on each card. And? Golems guarded the mage's dwelling. Those spared the ravages of time survive at the cemetery, where they remain motionless. One of them is the guard? Yes, the most powerful golem acted as sentry. The tower card depicts how the golem can be revived. In turn, this will open the tower anew. Take this card. I no longer need it. About the tower. Yes? Vasca helped me locate the tower tarot card. It describes how to wake the sentry. Let's see this card. Interesting. Much depends on interpretation, but I think I understand. Alchemists find it easier to understand other alchemists. Enlighten me. The sentry can only be woken if it's near the tower, which it is, and by using a lightning rod. A lightning rod? The drawing depicts a man in a crown, a reference to King Herman the Mad? Who's Herman the Mad? Herman used to ascend a tower during storms and insult the guards. A hostile faction carried out a coup by removing the lightning rod from the tower. An interesting story. You'll need a device that attracts and conducts lightning. Put plainly, a solid metal rod. A good smith should be able to forge one for a decent price. What next? Yes, we'll need a thunderstorm, but I have no idea how to make Mother Nature cooperate. I'll think of something. When you have everything, attach the lightning rod to the sentry. Energy from the lightning bolt will revive the golem. What next? No idea, but you'll manage. If you kill the golem, you'll be able to make a rare potion requiring his heart. Here's the formula. We'll see. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. I'm here about the notice. You have Al Ghul Ma- Not yet, but I'll get you some soon. Hurry, I need it. Hmm.
I'm getting out this of here. place lacks the beauty that normally surrounds my people. Human come to see a non-human. You need something. I'm not entirely human, and yes, you might have something I need. Malcolm Stein! Not a better blacksmith than all of a seamer. Will you sell me your wares? Zoltan praised you, so we can trade. If you care to buy something, see my apprentice. I do the forging and handle special orders. Would you make me a lightning rod? A long metal? I know what one is. We used them in Mahakam, when humans still prayed to storms. You haven't learnt much about lightning rods since. Can you make a lightning rod? Are you trying to offend me, or can't you control what you say? I can, for 50 orins. Deal. Come back later. Greet you, the smith. Indeed, I run the shop. Keep things tidy. Uh, what do you need? See ya. Show me your way. Mr. Chive says you're right and honorable, so I see no reason not to trade. Here you are. Need the lightning rod? It's ready. Fifty orans. Fifty orans, like we agreed. Shit in my boots. Need something? Nice workshop. You they took it! Those sons of bitches! Now I must rent if I want to work. Thieves? No, worse. Damn city officials. Slap me with taxes on running a non-human business, trading in non-human goods. How the hell do they imagine I'll forge things for humans? I'm a bleeding dwarf. Strange coincidence, too. That character connected with the altar recently acquired new Mahakam and anvils, strangely similar to my own. Will you sell me your ware? Zoltan praised you. Farewell. Transport services. Take me to the time. Ready to go. How many times are you going to?
good, sir. Do you need a boat? Huge trees, strange symbols, tamed beasts, even a dryad. This must be the Druid's Grove. What is it? What is it? You druids control nature's forces, right? No, we cannot. Rather, we live by its rhythms. You train wild animals, and you can stir up a storm? No, I, I mean yes, but not by force. Well, I need a tempest with thunder and lightning. Can you create one? I can, but as I said... I'll pay. Call it a donation toward the prevention of further devastation of the environment. Five hundred orans. That's too much. Things are getting more expensive, and we have to live somehow. Five hundred it is. Come back when you're ready. Here's five hundred orans. It's no easy feat. I'm no common mage, harnessing storms with absurd stone posts. What posts? Anyone magical can activate the three stone posts at the Golem Burial Ground. They attract lightning. Maybe I can use the posts to wake the Golem. Fortunately, that creature stands beyond the posts' range. Experimenting with nature's forces can only bring misfortune. How are the posts activated? Touch them while intending to attract a storm. But danger abounds. A careless instant can cost your life. I'll be careful. Farewell. I know your intention, Witcher, and I would prepare. Imbibe some of those potions, for you'll need them. A Witcher without potions is half a Witcher Druid.
Thank mm-hmm. you.